Oh, is it? It's been a second since I've done a visual diary. Um, I had therapy a few days ago. I actually have like a bonus session this week. I'm gonna do two sessions this week because I missed the session. Um, but whatever, that's besides the point. I basically came on here to talk about something that's like really been on my mind. Um, so I just been like hyper triggered lately. Um, hyper triggered lately about like cultivating friendships and things like that. So, oof. So the situation that has really been triggering me is that you know um, I've been hanging out with a nice group of my coworkers lately, um, and my job has a lot of turnover, girl, a lot. So um, this was like fairly new, like maybe within the last like six months or so, uh, where we kind of been like really kicking it, hanging out, and like niggas. I live in Atlanta, so a lot of people. Who are here are not from Atlanta. A lot of niggas trying to make friends, create community, create family, you know. So I was like super excited because we were vibing. And um and yeah, it seemed like like niggas was really like like enjoyed each other's company and was gonna like become friends and shit. Um and it was in particular three people that I was looking to get like that I was excited about getting really close to um it was like two females and um a queer guy and um they're like a nice diverse group they're all from different places um they yeah they they have they have acceptance acceptance and not just tolerance for the queer community which of course because i mean there's a gay guy so there has to be some of that um they're smart they're ambitious um yeah and we're all around the same age so the four of us i felt like we're like low-key becoming a little click right um but i noticed that they were hanging out the three of them without me and i also noticed that um not only were they not hanging out with me, but I could tell from like some of the conversations that they were having that they had like their own group message, which is not shady. It's only shady if I made a group message with all four of us, which I have and I did. And then to realize that y'all got like y'all own group message is like a little sus. It's a little weird. But anyways. Um, I was telling my therapist, you know, like I have this, we all have narratives and we, that we believe that are not true at all, but we all have narratives that we tell ourselves that we believe. And one of my, and I mean negative narratives at that. And one of my narratives is that, um, like <laughs> I, I have no doubt that I am valuable. You know, I doubt I doubt that other people can see my value. So an analogy for that is I, when I'm explaining that, I like to tell people like, I just kind of think of myself as like a hundred dollar bill on the sidewalk in New York City, somewhere that's really, really expensive, that like people range in income and it's really busy. I am valuable. I'm a hundred dollar bill, no matter what I look like or where I'm at or none of that shit, regardless of whether I'm on the ground or not, I'm a hundred dollar bill. But I don't really have value and like but nobody sees it like nobody sees that this is a hundred dollar bill on the ground everybody's just stomping on it and walking past it and stomping on it and walking past it and I guess I'm just waiting for someone to notice the hundred dollar bill become excited and like you know value cherish and hold it sacred because how often is it that you find a hundred dollar bill on the side of the street right so that's kind of how I view like how people treat me um, and I personally feel like people like to enjoy me on the surface but they don't necessarily they aren't necessarily invested in learning me in depth 
and um, I don't really know what that's about and I also I'm not really sure if that's completely like me projecting or if that's just like genuine like I don't know maybe I just give so much of myself like I'm, I'm super outspoken and genuine about who I am I'm pretty upfront about who I am maybe they think that there's nothing else left maybe they think if I had some shit to say I'd say it I don't know but um, it's just hard feeling like, you know, you put yourself out there, you put yourself out there, and there aren't any people or there isn't anybody who who sees the magnitude of what you're presenting, and it's like, damn, that's really cool. Like, for instance... I remember one of my coworkers was having like a really bad day. I was supposed to like come over and smoke, but she wasn't feeling like it. And I like sent her a care package to her crib. Like, I know she likes flowers, so I bought her a candle that smelled like freshly cut roses. I got like bubble bath and shit like that. Like, just trying to like, you know, be like, girl, we don't have to, like, even though we don't have to kick it, like, I still care about like how you're doing. Um, another one of them, like, um, I just wanted to kick it and, like, come over. So, I was like, you trying to smoke? I'm, I'll buy us some burrito tacos and shit. Do they match when I come smoke? Absolutely not. They just eat my fucking tacos. <laughs> and, um, and so, I just kind of felt like, I feel like, it's not that I feel, I know that when I'm excited about a potential connection, I invest myself in that connection as if, like, we already fuck with each other the long way and when that's not reciprocated i'd be butthurt do you hear me butthurt because i'm like i'm giving you my best self and you didn't even see me like that's kind of um that's pretty humbling and that's pretty like it's a hurtful like realization you know to be functioning at your highest self and to still and for your efforts and your output to low-key be invisible or take it for granted but I don't know um, I think maybe God is trying to maybe God is not allowing me to attach to people because he don't need a lot of people around me maybe this is a season of isolation maybe this is a season of getting to know myself better and maybe this is not not even a season of like isolation but maybe this is a season of quality and not quantity um and maybe i'm only supposed to have a few key players you know a part of my team but maybe that is what's needed to create richness and depth um i'm not sure or i don't know if like i'm just so i'm crazy and it's not even that i'm craving a friend like i have a friend like nisha's my bitch <laughs> But um, I'm craving community. I'm craving a group, okay? And I don't know if that's because, like, I am one of five girls. So I have a lot of siblings. I had group friends in, like, high school. I was in ROTC. I had guy friends. We were, like, a little group. Um, like, a lot of my... And I like to integrate my friends into my family life. So I just love having all the people I love intertwined and creating community. And I guess like I've just been trying to recreate that for myself here, but these niggas is not the same. And um, it's been really frustrating not being able to like create what I have there here. Like not, not being able to copy and paste my environment, my support system, and um, my village, my tribe. So that's that's been highly frustrating, okay? And, um, I don't know, maybe that's unrealistic in general, and maybe, like, I'm not being, out of all my efforts and my output, I'm not being granted that space because niggas don't deserve that out of me yet, or maybe I just need that energy for myself. I'm getting my business off the ground, I'm having a launch party at the end of the year, I'm having a, a portfolio shoot this year, my nigga, like, it's all going down, do you hear me? And maybe because of that... My little chin dimple is shining today, okay? But maybe, um, maybe because of that, that's why, like, I haven't been able to, like, attach to people how I've been desiring. But, um, I am coming here to say as a real person who moved in a new city, it's hard as fuck making friends. 
and it's hard as fuck to find people to reciprocate the the energy that you are willing to sow um <clears throat> but also then people don't owe me shit and i decided to show up as my best self for people and that is okay and i think a part of being a good person is just being one and not requiring anything in return we deserve things in return for sure but we don't require it we i don't require for you to do something for me to do something for you it's not um i'm not doing this for exchange it's not transactional um but i i will say when it's reciprocated it's validated that i am validated that i am investing in something that appreciates me but um I was good to them because I was just good to them because that's how I am. And so I don't take that for granted. Um, it's just hard to... It's hard to hold on to the fact that you are amazing, great, beautiful, smart, funny. Niggas love you. They, if they want to be your friend, fuck them. You know, like it's hard to like stay married to them. Oh, wow. Those were baby cows. No baby horses. Like baby babies. But, um, or baby cows, they legs are this long. Um, what I was saying, like, it's just, it's just hard to, to, to constantly feel like you're experiencing invalidation. Cause I feel like if I am everything I know I am, I shouldn't be having these problems. But, um, life is not finite like that life is not just a plus b equals c that's not how life is so and maybe i should let go of that idea but it's just really hard feeling worthy of friendship when no one has made you their friend for real or people exclude you from that process are disinterested from are disinterested in you in that process it's like continuing to go on first dates and nobody wants to take you on a second after so many first dates it's gonna be hard to believe that like niggas are even interested in really dating you like niggas is really about their life i don't know All I know is I am grateful. I am grateful for the homegirl that I do have in the city that does fuck with me, that does like to do the same things I do, that does like to cook and smoke and chill. And she's a professional and she's smart and she's beautiful. Nisha girl, grateful for you. I'm also grateful for um, for my my tribe present or not i still have a tribe they still exist they're still here and i'm thankful that that i have them to lean on that they that they make themselves so accessible for me especially because i'm far away i'm 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 just i'm thankful for that i am i'm i'm thankful i'm thankful as fuck I'm thankful that I have a partner who is also a friend to me. Like, we go out and we have a good time. We we drink, we party, we, you know, we know how to have fun, you know? So it's not like, um, even though I don't have, like, a group of homegirls, I am not missing out on having um, those types of experiences. And I'm grateful for the temporary friends that... God and the universe has allowed me to have so far I'm grateful for that um, because without that um, I don't know how I would have been able to survive you know having people to um, to uncover great restaurants with and having people to try new bars with and new lounges with and things like that I'm, I'm just grateful for that um, because it gave me the leverage that I have now to make other friends like I'm the girl who knows the spots okay um, but I'm just in a place where if I don't do nothing else, I'll be in a spirit of gratefulness.
no matter what else is going on around here. And I'm also grateful to have that attitude.